Hello everyone, last weekend I got a chance to go to another robot competition. It was the Greater DC Area Botball Competition. I had a fantastic time while I was there and here's one of their representatives describing a little bit about the tournament. Alright, well this is Botball Educational Robotics Program and the Botball Educational Robotics Program attempts to get children to learn how to program computers. Uh, has a very heavy emphasis on computer programming. All of the robots are computer programmed, there's no remote controls. So that's a big goal is to get kids programming robots and they'll learn a little bit of mechanical design along the way and then they'll all do documentation as well. So we'll learn that part of the engineering process also. So how many events do you hold a year uh, doing We this? have 14 regional events across the United States and also in Austria and uh, the Middle East. Uh, is there like a world championship uh, yes, as well? Yes, there is. We do a, a global conference every summer that features the International Botball Tournament and that moves locations every year. And this year it's at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. Now programming a robot to act autonomously is really difficult, especially if you're trying to give it directions. Uh, a lot of things can happen. You can have wheel slippage, uh, there could be debris in the way, uh, there could be just little things that slow up the wheels, that turn it, the robot could list to one side. Uh, a lot of problems that could happen. If you tell it to go forward a few seconds, well, it might go forward and to the right for a few seconds. So programming a robot to act and run around on its own is a, a really difficult thing, as these clips show. Now, I was only there for the morning rounds in which all the teams are seated in uh, different categories. But I did get to see a lot of interesting robots and got to talk to some of the teams. So here are a few of the rounds and a couple of the teams talking about their particular robot. Ian Walchmitt and Charlie Mays. <laughs> we had planned stacking bot guy in the queue. Unfortunately, one of our um, wheels on the front of the robot got stuck on the center divider. But all in all, uh, the queue yeah. robot ran perfectly. Worked like a charm. With that. Yeah, I, I think that's yeah, definitely a good good run. I saw at the end there there was like a block like just hanging on like the top edge. Like what what's yeah. the plan to do with well, that last one? We were gonna grab it back up, drop it, so it kind of just sort of sits in the edge. Okay. That container and breaks the vertical projection. All right. It's also nice to have like a one cube error. Like if we knock one off or one falls off, we yeah. ideally it would get that one. But I mean that was our one cube error. So you got a back back up pretty right. much. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. Oh my God. character and we just weren't being we weren't paying enough attention and so there's a compilation error up there and we didn't catch it before. Oh okay all right so is it gonna be on the for another next round or yeah we're good I think we're ready to go for next round. Yeah. All right cool. So how many points did you get out of the, the run just with one bot? 300. 300? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle.
where the name come from? How did we come up with the name Slap Shack? I have no idea. Uh, next time we're going to test new code that will... So we're worried about uh, the secret dead robot society, yeah. right? Okay. Because they score a lot. So our Lego robot that hangs in hangers, since our next seating round won't count, um, we're just going to try to knock off the orange cubes as well. Oh, okay, all right. Don't, don't, don't nope. tell them that. Night. So why are you stuffing duct tape in the uh... uh we're covering up the uh, sensor so that if it rolls backwards it does not turn off. My name is Brendan Kane. So what just happened? So basically, uh, our create robot that we had, uh, the create programmer, um, changed the code at like one of the last seconds. So the create robot blocked the path of the Lego robot to uh, knock off the cubes from the shell. I saw, I saw one of them uh, kind of take a dive there at the yeah, end. What, it, what happened it there? Went, it, all, it went into the to the storage bin, the lower storage bin, and it almost fell out. I thought I had to catch it, but uh, so it didn't. That would have been bad. <laughs> If, it uh, if somebody wanted to be involved or get a uh, school program involved in this, where would they go to uh, do the that? The best place is to start at our website, and that's botball.org. Uh, and also you can call our main office, 405-579-4609, and we'd be happy to talk to you about it. Okay, great.